Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Here we have for sale a Bay Leonard 1952 Capri Cuddy with a Veracruiser 3 litre, 135 horsepower stern drive motor. Now, this boat was built in 1994, and if you know our website or if you've been keeping an eye on, on the site, you'll know that we almost never sell boats that old, primarily because they tend to be basket cases that are at the end of their life and uh, not really worth selling. But not only is this one good enough for me to sell, it was good enough for me to actually buy. So this is a stock boat. I own this boat at the moment. It's a stock boat. We're selling it with three months warranty. It is exceptionally good. Um, and it has to be the cleanest boat of this age, this price point that you're gonna find anywhere in the market. I'm gonna take a detailed walk around the boat. We're gonna show you inside it. We're gonna show you around the engine bay. Let you hear the engine start and running. We're also going to put it through its paces in the water as well. And um, yeah, you'll get an idea of just how exceptionally good this boat is. It looks fabulous. It goes great. Everything works. And we're backing it up with a three month warranty, which on a 20 year old boat is unheard of. So we're just going to show you around the boat now and uh, let you decide for yourself whether this might be of interest to you. If you're looking to spend around about five or six thousand pounds on a sports boat, sports cutty in particular, something that like 19, 18, 19, 20 foot long, um, and that's your budget, it is a fairly scary place to be. It's a bit grim to be honest. I mean, I look at lots of stuff. I get loads of people emailing me and ringing me asking if I broker boats at that sort of price point or, or if I'd buy it or anything. And nine times out of ten, the answer is thanks very much for getting in touch, but I can't help you out. The boat's too old, just can't do anything with it. Um, I'll tell you the story behind this boat in a moment, but this is definitely a standout exception. Um, it's phenomenally good. Um, I could tell stories till the cows come home about people who've spent that sort of money on boats only for them to turn out to be complete basket cases, engines blowing up, floors being completely rotten, osmosis in the gel coat. The list of things that can go wrong whenever you're spending that sort of money on a boat that's 20 years old or that sort of that sort of territory is is almost endless and it's so easy to just get a really bad experience you know lose good hard-earned money and you know the whole boating experience can be a disappointment to the family and what tends to happen is people go through that once they get rid of the boat at a horrendous loss and they never get involved with it again um, so that's the reason why i don't sell stuff like this uh, as a general rule of thumb and if i am to get involved it has to be remarkably good. The fact that this one was good enough for me to buy I think speaks volumes but I mean even taking a look at it um, to start off with the gel coat is immaculate um, there's a really deep shine to it. This is all the original gel coat it's never been painted it's never been repaired anywhere this is the original pinstriping down along the hull, the hull sides all the original uh, stainless steel bow rails stainless steel plates and stuff at the front it looks absolutely fabulous I mean if somebody had told you this was a five or six year old boat, you would um, believe them, no problem at all. A um, couple of very minor marks on the rub reel here, very light scuffing, which is normal. That rub reel is designed to sort of, you know, take any knocks, knocks against jellies and stuff, so it all looks good. There's no stress cracking anywhere around the hull. Coming all the way down to the back, we've got the original Bayliner badges here, they're still in perfect condition. Engine room vents are good. A couple of little fender eyes on the side that have been retrofitted by a previous owner. Stainless steel cleat back here and coming right back to the, the corner. It's in fabulous condition as well. No signs of any impact damage, no stress cracking. And um, again, a nice deep shine all the way around. Taking a look down along the starboard side of the boat, again, it is remarkably good. It's outstanding condition um, for a boat of its age. The only defect I have to point out is this little uh, dink in the rub rail. So again, this rub rail is designed to absorb any of the little you know, bumps and things it gets around the jetties. And it's obviously had a wee bump one stage here, and I, it looks like somebody's just cleaned off that edge. So it might have been a wee bit ragged. Somebody's just run a blade down to clean it up. Um, apart from that, the rest of the boat is immaculate. There's no dents, ding, scratches. Um, it's beautiful condition. Nice deep shine to the blue collar band. Uh, the gel with the bump below the rub wheel is perfect. This, again, the, the Bayliner pinstripe and it's all the original factory graphics. They still look fabulous. The windscreen surround looks great. Coming right the way down to the back. Bayliner graphics are perfect here. Engine room vents are good. Cleats are all solid and secure. Again, a couple of fender eyes and stuff like that. Coming right back to this, the corners unmarked. In beautiful condition. And we've got this 
a big swim step, swim ladder with integrated sort of half platform there, and it's all in perfect condition too. So the story behind this boat is that it was a, a Northern Irish boat from New, imported from the, the Bayliner factory and sold through the Northern Ireland dealer here. Um, it has had three owners from New. The second owner owned it for a period of around about 15 years, um, and that owner was actually um, father-in-law of my mechanic. So um, my engineer has serviced this boat religiously every year since about 1997 or something. Um, it's always been engines always been uh, serviced. End of the season, oil and filters been changed. It's always been winterized properly. Um, the guy who owned it looked after it. It was his pride and joy, and he really did look after it like a like a baby. Anything that needed done was done. It was always stored carefully indoors, um, always polished and kept a nice shine on it and all that sort of stuff. The boat was never kept in the water for more than a couple months at a time. It was always used in fresh water. The hull bottom has never been painted, so there's never been any anti-foiling paint on the hull. It's still got its original factory gel coat finish on it. The stern drive was never anti-foiled or painted. Um, and it's the whole thing is just in, in excellent condition. It's a freshwater boat from new. Didn't do massive hours or anything, but they just were really fanatical about keeping up to date with it, with the service and the maintenance and all that sort of stuff, and it really does show. Now, I sold it um, to a new owner at the beginning of this year, 2015, and they just didn't really take to the boat, and it just wasn't turned out not to be for them. And the boat performed pretty flawlessly, but just decided to, to move the boat on at the end of the season, and I took the opportunity to to trade it off them and sell it ourselves with a, with a full three month warranty and, and all the rest of it. I'm quite happy to do that because I know the history of the boat, I know the mechanical condition, I know how well it's running and we literally have nothing to do to it other than give it a, a quick coat of polish and, and advertise it. So a fabulous boat in, a, in remarkably good condition. This is a 1994 boat, that's the first year that Bayliner introduced the, the 1952 Capri Cuddy. And the, the boat, and basically this guys was in, in production right up to 2006. So it looks, still looks like a really fresh boat. They only changed it substantially in, in 2006 whenever it became the 192. So this model was, um, has been around a really long time. It's, it was an excellent hull, um, very usable little boat, great size. It's capable for use in the sea as well as although this one's only ever been in fresh water, um, but it still looks really fresh and, um, and up to date, so um, it's, a, it's a cracking little boat. It's just under 19 feet long, it's 7 foot 6 inches wide, and with that Meritruiser 3 litre engine, it's got 135 horsepower, it's got plenty of power for pulling skiers, water toys and things like that. I'll get the boat up on the plane quickly, even with a load of maybe 6 passengers or so on board. Um, but it's equally happy just tootling around, down, up and down rivers, around the lakes and stuff like that. So it's just a really versatile little day boat that um, sort of does everything really well. So we've got a nice high transom um, on the boat, so whenever you're sitting inside it, you know, you, you sort of feel like you're properly inside the boat. It's all moulded across the top with um, non-skid <coughs> tread, so if you're hopping in and out of the boat, you've got safe foot on your way. As I said, we've got this little single step Folding swim ladder, bathing ladder is with two big chunky handrails up the side. Everything's nice and solid and secure. All the, the fittings and everything are really good. Um, again, you can tell this is a freshwater boat because you know we don't have any corrosion marks around any of the, the, the hardware on the stern, even the stuff that's below the waterline. It all looks like it's like it's brand new. As I said, the boat's fitted with a three-liter engine. It's 135 horsepower and it's matched up to this Alpha One drive legs. That's the Alpha One Gen 2 leg as well, so it, like that's still current in that current design. Um, really reliable leg, well proven technology, easy to maintain and uh, gives the boat, you know, does a really good job of transmitting the power to the water in this boat. It's fitted with a three blade prop, the whole thing as you can tell is in beautiful condition. Um, factory, factory original paint still on it. Um, as I said the boat really didn't spend any great amount of time in the water so it's still got a really nice finish to it. Even the anodes are, are still serviceable, you know. Um, all the seals on the rams and stuff are really good. The bellows are good. Um, the thing has been serviced religiously throughout its life. And we're backing this all up with a three month warranty as well. And we'll start that from the beginning of the 2016 season. So, I mean, that's pretty much unheard of at a boat of this age and at this price point to get something with a warranty. So, um, we were totally confident in the, in the mechanical uh, capability of this thing. 
Stepping inside the boat, this has a um, sort of traditional layout with twin back-to-back -back seats at the helm's position on the passenger side and then we've got two recessed uh, jump seats either side of the engine box here at the back. So the boat's rated to carry six people. There's seats for six people out here in the cockpit um, and uh, there's also a decent bit of deck space to move around in as well. You know, there's, there's nice width between the, between the lounger seats on either side and if you're fishing off the boat you want to open up the deck space or even if you're just you know swimming and things or using it for water sports you can slide these two back seats completely out of the way you can throw the cushions into the cabin and this means that you've got access right up to the, the transom right up to the gunnels here on the side the, it's all upholstered as gunnels and, and seat backs there um, so if you're standing fishing off the boat um, it's it's really well set up for doing that as well and you're also you know, whenever you're standing here, the, the, the gunnels come up to almost thigh height, so again, you feel sort of safe and secure inside the boat. It's a nice, solid, substantial uh, little boat. This boat has a fiberglass uh, engine box here with the cushion pad on top of it, and in conjunction with the, the two seats, the two side seats, in this raised position, you've got a full width sun pad across the, the back of the boat. Um, so that's, that's good if you get a bit of good weather and you want to do a bit of sunbathing. Um, you can also then remove this cushion, so just slot these down here, back down from the seated position. This cushion pops off and we've got a little picnic table here, picnic table area. This one's had this little um, like bait preparation a pad set, up, set on there as well, so like a little chopping board. So if you are using the boat for fishing, you can prepare your bait and stuff there. We've got a couple of integrated cup holders here as well and a wee recessed storage area. So as I said, Great bait, bait prep area or um, picnic table uh, as well. You'll notice here as we, go, as we go around this boat that everything, all the little catches and button poppers and clips, everything's there, everything's working exactly as it should and everything's in absolutely beautiful condition. This is the original upholstery and it's virtually like brand new. Um, there's one small little mark here, take a look at it in a minute. But apart from that, the rest of the upholstery is pristine. I mean, it, it genuinely is remarkable the condition this boat's in. Anybody who's been in, this, in through the showroom lately um, and you know past comment on the boat and, and asked you know what it is is dumbfounded to learn that she's a 1994 boat. It really does not look anything like that sort of age and it's a beautiful beautiful example. One thing you have to be very wary of with these older um, particularly American built sports boats is they are fitted with a marine ply floor so it's a plywood floor and if the boats haven't been stored properly or if they've been left over the winter with water lying in them or left outside during the summer with the covers off and things it's really common particularly as they get older to find the floors starting to go soggy and, and you can end up having to replace the entire thing um, and it's a fairly big job to do you have to remove all the upholstery strip out the carpets and put all put new floors down and stuff so that's something i'm really wary of if i'm ever trading in a boat like that this one the floor is completely solid on it jumping up and down and stamping on stuff. There's no flex in it at all. It's totally rigid. It's like brand new. The carpets and everything are nice and dry. It's marine grey carpet throughout. They're all in beautiful condition and um, the floor in it is, uh, is top notch. So if you're comparing this to other boats, you're looking at, you know, you're in this sort of end of the market. You want to just be really careful about checking floors and stuff. But as I said, this one's perfect. Um, in terms of storage, just want to point out the, the sort of storage you have available on the boat. We've got um, recessed storage areas in the in the gunnels here on both the port and starboard side. They're really big, you have slight fenders and stuff in there, or easily carry you know, all your wallets and bags and stuff like that. Um, on the, we've got storage underneath these seats as well, so if you slide these seats forward, you can access a bit of storage underneath there. We've got a, a, a big uh, locker on the floor, I'll show you that, that in a moment. We, there's also a ton of storage up in the cabin. So just to quickly show you how these seats work, these fold completely flat. So again, if you're doing a bit of sunbathing on the boat, um, both the port and uh, both port and starboard, uh, back to back seat loungers recline fully like this. Um, I'll just show you this one as well. And again, all the runners and hinges and stuff, they're all working perfectly. This is another area on, on boats like this, um, particularly older ones. These mechanisms tend to get beat out, and the sort of the hinges are all sloppy, so they're all you know, hard to use, and, and they stick and stuff like that. On this one, everything's just 
super easy to use, it's genuinely, you know, it's like a few years old, it's great, great condition. You'll notice that the previous owner has made a few modifications and improvements here and there, and so he has fitted, these are retrofit handrails on the port and starboard side. Might not be to everyone's taste, but they do the job, and if you've got passengers sitting here, it just gives you a bit of extra security whenever you're underway. There's a great helm position on the boat, um, very supportive helm seat with nice side bolstering on it. Um, we've got rack and pinion steering, well positioned steering wheel, throttling shift lever is over here. This uh, goes, without, goes without saying that everything's working perfectly. Um, everything's nice and tight, you know, the steering's nice and tight. There's no slap, slop or anything in any of the controls or mechanisms. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's, um, the boat's driving really well. When I'm seated at the helm, I've got clear visibility through the screen. The screen comes up to over the top of my, my head. Side screens are, are nice and big as well, good visibility out through them. Um, so you get really good protection from the elements, even if you're driving the boat with the covers all closed up. There's a full set of camper covers on the boat so you can drive with the boat, uh, drive with the covers in position, but even on a better day, you get really good protection from the, from the elements. Um, in terms of the instruments here, most of them are the original Bayliner instruments. We've got the Speedo, Rev Counter, Oil Pressure Gauge, voltmeter, fuel gauge, and the temperature gauge. Now you can, you'll notice the temperature gauge is, is different from the rest, it, so it was replaced at some point in the past, but it's working perfectly. Um, in terms of switch gear, we've got our horn, accessory power for, there must be a 12 volt socket somewhere around here. Um, navigation lights working perfectly, the anchor light at the back, bilge pump, and the engine blower motor as well. So, Everything is uh, everything's working as it should. There's also a fish finder fitted to the boat over on the port side, which is within view of the helm position. So that that's working perfectly as well, and that will give you a depth readout um, of the the water below the uh, below the keel. So it's ha really handy to have that if you're navigating in waters you're not 100% familiar with, or you know coming into beaches and stuff like that. You can keep an eye on the the depth of water. As I said, everything here is working perfectly. The boat runs really good. That Mercruiser engine gives it a great turn of speed. Um, because of the way the hull is, is built as well, it's, it's got a pretty aggressive sort of deep V hull. I think it's about a 19 or 18 degree dead rise or something, and it is a capable little coastal cruiser as well. I sold one of these boats a couple of years ago, and it was a 1999 one, but it was basically the same boat, same hull. Um, and the owner of that used to use it off the coast of Galway, and he was out around the Iron Islands and things in it. Um, and it uh, performed you know, flawlessly for him. So it is a really capable little sea boat if you're planning on using it in the sea. Now this one, as I said, has only ever been in fresh water um, and has benefited from that. The condition of the dash is really good. All these supports for the windscreen. The windscreen itself is in great condition. You know, no corrosion signs or anything around the, around the aluminum uh, frame. And uh, everything up here is just uh, in, uh, in really good shape. But we'll show you around the engine bay now and we'll let you see for yourself how well the boat performs on the water. The engine access is nice and straightforward. Just remove the two jump seats either side of the engine box. There's a couple of little, uh, four little bottom poppers holding this uh, box in position. So you just take those off and the whole thing uh, lifts easily out of the way. So you've got a bit of soundproof and heat and uh, heat resistant material there on the cover, the inside of the cover. And then we get really good service access um, all the way around this three liter Maricruiser engine so she's electronic ignition it's the same three liter motor that they are they're still building it's a four cylinder unit it's extremely reliable it's been around for years and this one is performing just as well as it did whenever she was new you can tell by looking around it here it's a freshwater boat from you obviously so there's no evidence of any corrosion even the front pulleys and stuff are immaculate um, the maintenance as I said that, that that second owner who had the boat for the majority of its life, he was extremely fastidious with the maintenance. It was service and went raised every year. Um, Robert, our engineer, was telling me that the, the gimbal burn and the, and the bellows were done just two years ago. So they're on a five year sort of interval, three to five years. And they were done two years ago, so you don't have to worry about those for the next few years. Um, the oil and filter was done at the beginning of this season. Um, and she's due a service now before she goes to her new owners as well. As I said, we're selling this boat. As a stock boat, we're selling it with a proper three month warranty. That'll start at the beginning of the next season. That's going to cover your engine and drive system and controls. And so you can buy this boat with complete peace of mind. And that is virtually unheard of on a boat at this sort of price and this, this age. So I think it's a, this, this is definitely, with the peace of mind you're getting with this alone, 
has to be one of the best dudes out there at the minute. And, and if you're looking to spend that sort of five to six thousand pounds range on a boat, um, I just think there's so many ways you can get it wrong. And like this, this like I'm com I'm committed to making sure that people have a great experience whenever it comes to buying and using their boat. Um, and it's unusual that I'm able to do that at such a low level. You know, at that like five or six grand. Typically, you just can't make it work. You know, you've got to be at like the ten thousand pound mark before you can sell a boat that's really good and something that we can properly stand over. So, I'm really pleased to get the opportunity to, to get something at, at this sort of entry level uh, price point, and um, it's going to make a brilliant boat for somebody. Having a look in around the engine bay itself, you can see there's no evidence of any previous high water marks, any previous oil leaks or anything. All the fixtures and fittings look really good. We've got the trim motor up here with the trim reservoir. All the pipes and clips and catches, everything's perfect. We've got a gear lube monitor bottle here so it's easy to keep an eye level on, eye on the gearbox oil level. And I'll just pull the dipstick here and show you the engine oil. I need to clean that off to confirm the level, but the oil itself is nice and clean. That was changed at the beginning of this season. The boat's probably only done about maybe 10 hours this season. Um, but it has been in use right up until uh, about a month ago. Um, and it's running really, really well. Starts first turn of the key, performance is great, but we're, we'll show you the water test footage that we have now so you can see for yourself just how well the boat goes underway. On the passenger side then again you get the same seating as the helm and good protection from the elements with this high screen and stuff even these these backseat passengers are going to get really good good protection from this in the raised sort of cockpits around and the, the high windscreen so that's really good um, over here we've got the a stereo in behind this little waterproof case so whenever I sold this boat at the beginning of this year um, it still had the original tape deck in it and it was working perfectly but the guy who bought it he just decided to update it with a with a modern stereo so this was only fitted this year it's brand new uh, it's working perfectly um, and it has the benefit of having an auxiliary input and also a USB input there as well so you can play your mp3s and stuff through the stereo um, so that's brand new and working uh, really well the cabin on the boat is a pretty decent opening giving you access into it but 
it is a wee bit of a crawl space. There's no, you wouldn't really have sitting headroom in here. I mean, it's great for kids to get in out of the elements and it doubles up as a fabulous uh, bit of storage space um, during the day. There is a little overhead uh, light there. There's also a big opening deck hatch so you can get access. It's a bit of a safety feature as well, but you can get access out onto the foredeck there. Um, we've got filler cushions that fill in the centerpiece and make it into a pretty decent sized double berth and you will sleep two adults in there, no problem. So if you're looking to use the boat for an overnight stay, that is possible. It's a bit like camping on the water, but you can put up the camper covers, make up the bed in there uh, and spend the night on board, no problem. Um, but it's probably not somewhere you're gonna come and sit during the day, but you can see the condition of everything in here is perfect. The headlining is completely unmarked. There's no signs of any previous leaks or water damage or anything in here. The upholstery, it's all the original bayliner upholstery and fabrics. They're all in perfect condition. The seat cushions are really good. Um, there's no, again, no stains or anything. We've got storage underneath the, uh, the two side seats there as well. So you can store things like first aid kits, flares, anchors, uh, dock lines and stuff like that and out of the way. So the cabin is great to have gives added security and protection for the elements uh, and this one's in fabulous condition. As well as everything else this boat has a great set of covers. So we have a full set of camper covers which consists of this uh, spray hood arrangement. This buttons down onto the front of the windscreen. It comes up to proper stand in the head height so you've got decent headroom all the way around underneath this. As well as this, this main piece we have two side panels, the clear side panels that go on either side and then we've got a solid back piece that goes right the way to the back of the boat. So um, you can check out the pictures to see the, the, all the covers in position, but they're in really good condition. I think they were replaced um, um, something around about five or six years ago, um, and the, the boat hasn't, wasn't, hasn't been used terribly much since then. So they are in, uh, they're in great shape. All the little buttons and zips and stuff all work really well, and it's a brilliant addition to have on a boat like this because it means that you can use it and you know all sort of come what may whether it starts raining you just put the covers up again like I said if you're staying on board you know, if you're camping sort of on the boat using the cabin you can close the, the entire cockpit in here and just give you a bit more extra living space you can fold out these two jump beds and a couple of kids could sleep out here and it means that a family of four could go away you know and spend a weekend on board so the covers are all there and they're all in great condition. Now, the previous owners, again, that guy who owned it for you know, the majority of its life, they did stay on board and use it like that. Um, so it was really important to him that the covers were nice and dry. You'll see that he's sort of gone around the windscreen. You'll always get a wee bit of water seeping in through windscreens and stuff and boats like this. So he's gone around and sealed it up with silicon and stuff like that just so the boat is completely bone dry, yeah, no matter what the weather's doing, so that's a great thing to have. All the bars and everything are in really good condition as well. Um, so you can check out the photographs to see the full covers in position. As well as the camper covers, there's also an all over winter storage cover too. So that goes over, covers the entire boat front to back. And that's part of the reason why the gel coat still looks so good because of that winter cover has been on it every winter. By now you've probably picked up that I think this is a cracking little boat. Um, it's just remarkably good. I, I'd love to see boats like this here because it's been so well looked after by our previous owners. Um, the condition is just outstanding. It really is a fabulous boat and there's no way that anybody's going to... If you show up to the marina in this boat or take it down to the caravan park, tell people you bought a new boat and told them it was four or five years old, they're going to believe you. There's no way they're going to think that it's 1994 and it's only cost you less than £6,000. You know, it's, it's just a fabulous looking boat. Um, mechanically it's excellent, everything works on it, it's got a great little cabin, condition of everything throughout, all the upholstery, all the interior, interior materials, all the cats and clips and everything is just perfect. Um, it's a really, it's a credit to our previous owners and it's a fabulous little boat. We are so confident in it that we're offering it as a stock boat. It's got a three month warranty, it started at the beginning of the 2016 season and I don't think you're going to find a better boat at this price point um, for what it is, 19 foot cutty with the camper covers, with the all over winter cover, with the trailer, um, with everything else that comes along with it. So if you're interested in the boat and you want to find out more, if you've got any questions about it, or if you want to come and have a look at it, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Just uh, You can drop me an email or give me a call or fill out the callback request form on this page of our website and I can contact you at a time convenient. Thanks very much for watching.